Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So I have a sweet Toyota 4Runner TRD off-road build here. Uh, my good friend Tim here, who I met since arriving yesterday, he allowed me to, to do a video for you guys and kind of just walk you through all of the modifications, at least the vast majority of them. I'll try not to miss too many uh, as we go around it. But if you want to follow him on Instagram, you can follow him at Tav4Runner. Uh, and you can find him there, his name's Tim. So let's start with the front, okay? So the front, we had this Road Armor integrated front bumper with a 12,000 pound worn, worn wren, winch, if I can speak correctly, with some nice integrated tow hooks up front too. I don't wanna say that too loud, the Tundra might get jealous. Okay, so we also have some Alpha Rex headlamps, which I think are great because they are, they, they essentially mimic the OEM headlight right well you can't really see it but well it mimics that headlight over there just fine but it darkens the the, the housing and gives you that white white strip led uh eyebrow if you will for lack of a better term so i think this looks really really nice uh so alpha rex he put on a decal up top you can see here um let's talk the wheel and tire and lift kit setup for a second here so i personally this is what gravitated to me gravitated me to it originally are these 17 inch black rhino wheels uh, with that bronze finish of course and that black in inside wheel, wheel cap i think it looks awesome so these are 17 inch with 35 inch by 12 and a half inch tires so it's running 35s these tires are kind of unique i don't think i've seen these in person before but they're terra raider tires so kind of unique empty tire of course with a pretty aggressive tire tread i would say he does have a Dobbinson lift kit on it. I think it's with uh, IMS lift kit on it, which brought it up about three inches front and rear. He has some diode dynamics uh, lights on it, as well as the Cali Rays light strip up top. Get this one down here too. And that's not diode dynamics. Uh, that one's actually escaping me right now, what those ones are. It, he does have a front runner roof rack up here, which these are extremely, extremely durable and just very high quality. I mean, I've, I've seen a few of these now in person and you can just tell that they are top notch. Uh, the rooftop tent itself is an antidote rooftop tent, obviously a hard shell. Uh, he only had good things to say about that. I had never heard of it though. Coming down a little lower, he does have a set of Cali Rays rock sliders, obviously angled, angled upward, which look great. Uh, you can see a tremendous tire poke, right? So I mean, he already has pretty large tires. I mean, um, I'm not sure what the exact offset of the wheels were, but I do know he has some spider tracks wheel spacers on here as well, uh, inch and a half, he said. Move around to the other side, you can see he does have a Dobbinson snorkel on it. Which looks great. Pop underneath. So he does have a skid plate under here. Um, I forgot which which brand it was. We'll pop in. It does have a, the Viper cut here with obviously the, the trim liner here. So allowing obviously a little bit better turning with these larger tires without you know, rubbing up against the fender. A pretty sleek setup in here. Here's his controls for all the lights. We'll turn those off for him. Uh, that's pretty I mean, cool, that's though. cool though. That's pretty cool. And a nice little iPad set up here. But yeah, so I mean, there you have it. That is kind of a, a broad overview of this particular 4Runner TRD off-road. Uh, I think he's done a great job at building it out and really putting tasteful modifications on it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Appreciate you watching as always. Until next time.